what's going on there folks good morning good afternoon it is the earth master here back at it once again on this tuesday march 28th 2023 it's about 11 44 p.m here uh 11 44 a.m excuse me uh, along the west coast in california where it's uh, raining once again and cold picking up uh close to another inch of rainfall here today in northern california at least specifically in my area all right earthquake activity we did have some movement kicking up here into our very quiet zone up here around the Japan Trench. Nothing specifically on the Kuro Kamachaka, but we did see a 6.0 ramping up there earlier this morning into the Japan region. It looks like it's uh, about the northern end here of the Japan Trench, 6.0. Two o'clock in the morning for uh, 34 kilometers depth for that earthquake. Still waiting on some potential movement up here along the Kuro Kamchaka Trench. It's been awfully quiet in terms of large-scale activity. Uh, we did see some regional earthquake activity ramping up here around our seismic gap zone, zone um, following the movement there in the Solomon Islands yesterday. Uh, still seeing a little bit of activity back building here across the area. Uh, this earthquake of 5.2 coming in at 9.6 kilometers deep. And a couple other smaller quakes here uh, through yesterday looks like some of those quakes are from yesterday so still kind of watching this region uh, for some potential movement not a whole lot of forward progression here across the java trench we did see a 3.5 late last night into the uh, myanmar area looks like about 10 kilometers deep for that earthquake uh, look on the earthquake 3d globe here uh, notice the rings some of this older movement here from yesterday a couple spotty newer quakes here around the sumatra area south into the java trench uh, but literally still waiting on some potential larger scale movement here to work its way up around the bin. Uh, also 3.9 coming in here. It looks like, um, let's see where that's at, I believe India. Okay, that'll work. Um, get the interactive map here. Outside in Nepal, looks like north of the, eh, it kind of looks like it's north of the Himalayas, not quite there into the mountainous range, uh, but a little bit of activity kicking up there into the China region today. Uh, but nothing big. Nothing big yet. Um, Turkey area not showing a whole lot of activity yet. At least far as anything above 4.0. Still seeing some movement out here in the microquake department. Some twos and uh, some smaller threes. Did have a 4.5 coming in. A pretty newer quake into the southern Iran area. 10 kilometers deep. That earthquake just coming in a short time ago. USGS has not picked up on any of that activity yet uh, today. And I do have the most recent quake map up here, so not for sure what's going on, but that's what's going on. Um, the middle or the Mediterranean area, let's see what we got. Mostly smaller earthquakes here, twos and ones across the area. We are seeing a little slight uptick here around the Switzerland area, or France, excuse me, 3.6 uh, coming into the France area. And I think we even had one somewhere nearby yesterday. A 3.3 in that same area. Atlantic Ocean, fairly quiet. Got a 2.8 coming in up off the coast here of the Iceland region. Uh, looks like right around the southern edge here of the Iceland region. The rest of the Atlantic Ocean, not a whole lot popping up here. Fairly quiet activity for now. Uh, into the South America area, looks like some twos and threes down there into the Chile area. And some deeper movement quakes here off the Middle America Trench area. That's going to be this region right over here. Nothing showing up here according to the USGS. Not for sure what's going on there today, but a little bit on the uh, slow side there. 4.1. This one's somewhat deep. It looks like uh, 240 kilometers deep here into the Middle America Trench, uh, as noted on the Earthquake 3D globe. Uh, also some activity over here around the Caribbean plate uh, east, 4.7. USGS reporting that. Negative. Negatory, 4.7 off the coast of the Falcon Venezuela area, 46 kilometers deep for that 4.7 coming in. Uh, just a short time ago, that was at 17, yeah, it looks like about an hour and a half or so ago. Uh, also notice down here, Southern California, the Barrett Station, getting that cracking, popping. I kind of call this fracturing out here um, into the a different type of fracturing. Um, 
but there's there's a lot of earthquake activity kind of ramping up there it looks like uh, into the southern cal area uh, let me look and see what's going on most of that activity on the on the graph there on the seismo small movement but a lot of it um, i'm thinking it's associated with activity uh, it looks like it's localized here around this vicinity of the elsinore or the san jacinto fault zone the usgs um not showing a whole lot of newer activity here on the map we did see some movement uh overnight looks like mostly small quakes there in southern cal um up here along the plate boundary though into the pacifica area this is a little bit newer movement here and uh looks like we've seen a 3.4 for the larger quake here in this little swarm of activity just south of the san francisco city area pacifica sits right up to the northwest it is right off the san andreas fault which is the plate boundary here uh the peninsula section very dangerous area since we've uh, it's been a little, little while since we've had a major earthquake here specifically on this fault system um yeah i was going to say maybe it's on this fault here but this is a ways off it looks to me uh, like it is specifically right there on the san andreas well there's a rift zone right here san andreas rift zone kind of opening up uh, either way a little bit of swarming right a uh, total of see what we got here 10 earthquakes so far into this swarming area again the largest a 3.4 followed up by some twos mid twos and some other smaller quakes so we'll continue to watch that uh for some potential movement uh, i'm sure it was felt around the area looks like quite a few folks did report feeling this earthquake around the san francisco bay area mostly light shaking being reported out there and here's all the digivillet responses here from pacifica san bruno uh daily city area south san francisco 36 responses there all right uh let's see what else we have i know there's some movement going on down here in southern cal folks i can see it on the graph that's kind of why i run these seismographs for uh you know a lot of times we're we're dependent on what one agency to report the data the official data so that's why i run these live seismos and when i see activity like this this station down there barrett is roughly within oh somewhere within this area right here so there is activity kicking up here just not showing up on the map for some reason all right uh, let's see what else we have we'll watch it we'll watch this area though here um the san andreas fault zone uh, fairly quiet down south here across the creeping segment but remember this area has seen a um, little bit of activity uh, over the last week or so within that zone the last seven days of activity kind of shows us some elevated conditions out here on the creeping segment and they call it the creeping segment because of the typical creep that uh, it poses out here kind of creeps along uh, it doesn't really build up strain and stress such as other regions up north or, or down south here um, on the san andreas fault the plate boundary so we get this uh these smaller quakes and swarms on occasion known as the uh, San Andreas fault zone creeping section and that's where that activity has been kicking up here over the last week the migrational pressure activity should um, put that momentum up further north uh, but also at the same time we've had some activity up here along the Cascadia uh, so there's a whole lot of dynamics at work right now uh, here along the west coast with um, seeing where this momentum may transverse all right, uh, Northern Cal, most of this activity here from yesterday into the Cascadia subduction zone. A couple smaller quakes there outside of Eureka up into the Pacific Northwest. Relatively quiet, a couple small quakes, some explosions going on up there uh, in Washington as well. Um, let's see, Wyoming, not a whole lot of activity, but for verification issues, I want to check again. You know, I can't just say, hey, this is what's going on. There's no earthquakes. <laughs> so that wouldn't be that wouldn't be fair. That wouldn't be factual uh, in terms of reporting the real data out here. So, you know, again, sometimes the USGS is a little slow in reporting the earthquake activity. It's not a Friday. Just uh, it's a Tuesday. <laughs> All right. Uh, earthquake activity at Yellowstone. Well, not a whole lot. Some smaller quakes, it looks like overnight. 
nothing major going on. I'm not seeing any unusual activity. No, um, nothing really to look into here. Most of these quakes uh, are on the microquake side. I'm, see I'm not seeing any uh, unusual magma movement there or any magma movement. All right, uh, eastern portion of the country, fairly quiet. Severe weather threats coming up here. We'll chat about that in a little bit uh, in the next few days for Oklahoma and Texas. Uh, but for earthquake activity, one earthquake, 2.5 outside of the Pecos, Texas area. Of course, we all know what's out there, right? Quite a bit of, uh, you guessed it, tic-tac-toe fields. Well, okay, maybe they're not tic-tac-toe, but these are wastewater disposal wells out here galore lots of them and uh it's just been an ongoing thing folks uh for earthquake activity out there in those fields uh righty let's see puerto rico we checked out one earthquake off the coast of venezuela down here um let me see if there's anything else there's that 4.7 deeper quake here middle america trench Looks like a little swarming outside the Puerto Rico area, up around the Puerto Rico Trench overnight as well. Mostly threes and twos. Uh, I'll continue to watch this and keep this in mind. This little plate here gets battered and, and moved around and shoved all over the place, so to speak. So uh, very tiny uh, plate out here, but there's many dynamics at play here from the north, the south, the east, and the west. So very complex uh, activity out there. Right, uh, Alaska, quite a few reds here on the map indicating activity within the last hour outside of the Denali area through Anchorage. Uh, doesn't look, look like there's anything major popping off here, mostly small microquakes, but a noticeable uptick here across the region today. Uh, no major adjustments or movements at the volcano. Volcanoes, the monitored and mo unmonitored, looks, uh, we'll continue to watch them today though. They have been active far as earthquake activity goes. All right, uh, that was a zigzag tic-tac-toe pattern there that I just did covering all the data, but hey, uh, keep it interesting at times. All right, New Zealand, not a whole lot popping off down there, looks like. Um, see what we got. Nothing being reported here by the USGS or the EMSC, so for, just for double verification, we'll check out the GeoNet servers. It's got a 4.1 coming in right now to the uh, Japan region. This earthquake right up here, south of the six-pointer that kicked off this morning. So this area definitely showing um, like it wants to uh, move today. So we'll continue to watch this area. Uh, remember the Kuro Kamachaka Trench sits just north of where that six-pointer hit today. That area is primed for a very large earthquake. We haven't really seen any in uh, a little while. So we'll continue to watch this zone as we're seeing elevated activity with that 4.1 coming in. All right, uh, 3.4 North Island, it looks like. A 3.1 as well a couple days ago. Um, all magnitudes map here. Quite a few twos and ones scattered about the map. Um, doesn't look like there's too much activity down there today. Uh, also, um, uh, the uh, moderator here and a member has a site to check out if you're interested called uh, nzquakes.online New Zealand activity and also some uh, other movement around the globe. Uh, this shows the uh, various earthquake activity here across New Zealand on kind of a little bit better scale. You can kind of see the pinpoints of where these earthquakes um, are at and um, pretty complex. There's a lot of information here to look at in terms of earthquake activity, volcanic activity and whatnot. Here it shows the latest earthquake on the map, strongest earthquake, uh, and the date and time of when that earthquake struck. So, alrighty, uh, let's back out of here and see if there's anything else <clears throat> going on. Big, ooh, goodness, that is scary. I don't know how he got in. Um, I have one of those house centipedes up here on the computer desk. I have it dark in here right now, aside from the computer lights and fans, but I just seen something creepy and crawly uh, coming across the keyboard, and sure enough, it's a uh, it's a one of those house centipedes. I mean, it's getting warmer out there, and we got so much rain. Uh, they're looking for someplace dry. Well, this is not the place you want to be, buddy. That was a little on the scary side. If Missy Mimi's was here, she probably would have screamed directly into the microphone. 
All right, I'll deal with that later. Uh, movement around the Pahala area. Not seeing a whole lot today. 16 earthquakes, a 2.0 coming in. Very shallow earthquake up here north of the Helena slump area. And uh, really no new activity to report around the Lohi Seamount. Still seeing a little bit of migration here of the movement offshore. But uh, generally speaking, somewhat uh, calmer today. All right, let's see what else we have here. Indian Ocean looks pretty clear. All right, so we'll uh, definitely keep an eye on some areas of interest today up here around the Japan region. And of course, that does include with the westward, northwestward plate movement here. Uh, that pressure does tend to build up here uh, further south onto the uh, portion of the Philippine plate. Uh, but also at the same time, that reinforced uh, plate dynamics is up here around the Kuro Kamchaka. So we'll see how this plays out today. Uh, but also can't uh, mention the west coast area with that little movement here into the Bay Area 2.6. Uh, is that another 2.6? Soon as I, isn't that odd? Soon as I speak of it, it comes into play. Uh, 2.6 it looks like coming in uh, on the Earthquake 3D globe there. I know I've seen it. There it is. You guys see that? Newer quake. Kind of hard to pinpoint exactly where it's at. Um, let me bring this down a little bit. Kind of looks like it's into the uh, uh, one of the coastal range faults there, north of Clear Lake. Zero kilometers deep. So, all right, speaking things into existence again today. It's a good trait to have. I just got to know when to use it and and for the right things. All right, uh, let's see what else we have here, folks. Space weather activity from the solarham.net site continues to show pretty boring conditions out here we're not really seeing anything major popping off uh, not really expecting anything major either um, the solar sunspots there's numerous ones but they're they're not all that uh, active still got a regional sunspot here that was throwing off some sea flares very low grade sea flares uh, earlier yesterday but the dynamics of the sunspots are not looking promising folks for uh, any flaring uh, looks like a 90% chance for a C flare, M flare at 10, X flare at 1. No major coronal holes are facing us, although we do have this one right here that's currently, uh, I would say that's facing us, but it's not a huge, no, dynamics of it are not huge. A little bitty coronal hole, 88. Uh, we'll see if that plays any effect on any of the elevated solar weather conditions here later this week. All right, uh, let's see weather activity here real quick across the west coast. There is our somewhat, uh, we had some pretty heavy rain here coming in earlier this morning. Again, it's still raining. Uh, picked up overnight, looks like three quarters of an inch of rain. We're expecting a little bit uh, more today from this low pressure system just off the coast here in Northern California. I got pressure at 2961 here at my house as far as the barometer pressure goes. Uh, so the low is definitely getting closer. Uh, but I believe it's going to die off a little. Well, this model shows it increasing a little bit further to Northern California uh, before getting slaughtered and diminishing uh, down south. But either way, some heavy-duty snow coming in here to the Sierra Nevada mountains again. It looks like Southern Cal will pick up some rain and some more snow uh, throughout the uh, evening and tomorrow time frame. Uh, we do have another system coming back behind that in a couple days. Um, doesn't quite look as wet or as snowy, but hey, this late in our rainy season, yes, I know this is, I don't know, I think this time last year we were dry and 85 degrees. It feels like an extended winter out here. Uh, let's go ahead and back out and see if we have any signs of any, I, I, no, I'm not going to. I'll cover that later tonight. Since I'm speaking things into existence, I don't want to speak any ridges into into the existence out here. I love this weather. I love the colder, rainier weather. So we're going to keep it as is. We'll cover that a little bit later tonight. All right, folks, have a good one. We'll catch you guys back here again, like I mentioned, later tonight. Take care, stay safe, and stay dry. See ya.